Oh, Nintendo, they've given us some of the most incredible and fun gaming experiences of all time. Super Mario Odyssey, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Animal Crossing, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Nintendo was responsible for giving us all of these amazing games. But they're also responsible for making some of the most bare bones and lacking games of all time. Games that Nintendo put out there that have no content, and then just updating that game a month later with free DLC. Like, I don't even want to talk about these games. Except for one, a game that no one bought when it came out. A game that people barely talk about nowadays. This game is so lacking and so bare bones, it still manages to be one of my favorite games of all time. And that game is... Game Builder Garage. What's that? You don't know or even care about what that game is? Well guess what? You're not alone! And despite this game being very unwell known, I'm still gonna talk about it. Because I love this game and I really wish it did better. And also, this is my most played game on my Switch and I don't want that 345 hours to go to waste. So here we go. I'm gonna talk about the good and I'm gonna talk about the bad. And then I'm gonna talk about all the cool stuff I did in the game. Oh, wait, sorry, I can't talk about Game Builder Garage yet, because I gotta complete the tutorial, so please excuse me for a little bit, uh, let's see how long it'll take, an hour? That's right, before you even start playing the game, you have to complete an hour long tutorial. Now, I bought this game in order to make games, and the tutorial definitely taught me the basics and I learned a lot, but what if I'm someone who doesn't want to make games and I just bought the game in order to play what other people made? I mean, sure, this tutorial could inspire people to make games, but for people to do a tutorial is definitely not the best idea. Alright, we're an hour into the game and all we've done is do the tutorial, so let's see what else this game has to offer. Alright, we got a uh, free programming, interactive lessons, and sharing your games. That's it. You pay $30 for the game and all you get is those three features. I mean, what else are you supposed to put in a game where you make things for other people around the world? Oh, I don't know. Maybe an actual search bar? Nintendo, you're killing me with the whole code thing that you have a habit putting in your games. You wanna friend someone on your Switch? Just put in a code. You wanna play a specific Mario Maker level? Put in a code. Do you wanna play this super cool Game Builder Garage game that you found? Put in a code. I honestly don't even understand this code thing. No one likes it. Alright, I've been trashing on this game for a while, and this video is about how much I love it, so let's get into the good. My favorite part about the game is just variety. You can make anything. I mean, unless it's over 512 nodons. I would talk about how stupid it is, but I hate it so much, it doesn't even deserve to be talked about. And I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I've gotten pretty good at programming. Like, look at this cool Deltarune Sands boss I made. It's really short, but I spent a whole night making it, so we're gonna appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's great. So... My Games. It's pretty much just the fan community doing what Nintendo couldn't. It's a site that allows you to play other people's games and upload your own games. And I myself have uploaded a bunch of games on this site. And... Uh... Look, we gotta talk. I might have made the longest game in Game Builder Garage history. I made a game called Cosmo the Cat, and first I just gotta say, Cosmo the Cat is not my original character, he's my friend. One day he came up to me and said, hey, you should make a game about my character. And I'm like, mm -hmm, yep, that sounds like a very beneficial way to spend my time. But I took it way too seriously than I should've, because in order to play the full game that includes the main story mode and the multiplayer mini games, you need to download 32 different games. Okay, if there's someone out there crazy enough to download every single one of the games and upload proof of you beating every level, I'll eat my left sock because no one is crazy enough to do that. But if you're a normal person, you can always download my other games that don't require you to download 32 games, like Noob Man's Big Adventure, Cube Man Buys an Apple, and, uh, yeah, maybe don't play all my games. So, I never really had a purpose to make this video, I just wanted to talk about Game Builder Garage. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go explore on Impact. Hey guys, it's Noob Man. how y'all been? It's always a good day when I finally post a video for once. I had to scrap the last video I was working on because I didn't like how it was turning out, so that's why I was gone for a long time, so sorry about that. 
And also, school started a month ago, so now I have uncontrollable depression. And that means longer time in between videos. But don't worry, I've been trying to make some YouTube shorts recently, so you can get some content in between videos. I guess it's a good time to say, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really supports me, and I'm planning on hitting 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And it'd be really cool if you guys check out my Game Builder Garage games. I really want to know what you guys think about them. I put a lot of time into them. So with that, stay awesome, stay safe, and most importantly, don't flood your house with bubbles.